In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today the church remembers St. Charles Luanga and companions, the Ugandan martyrs. Uh, between 1885 and 1887, uh, St. Charles and 21 of his companions were martyred for the faith by the king. Uh, they refused to apostatize, refused to give up the faith, and also refused his advances sexually. So today we honor these African martyrs. Let us call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. <clears throat> You raise the dead to life in your spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You feed us with your body and blood, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, you have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians. Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles and his companions, may be fertile and always yield to you an abundant harvest. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Through these, He has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature after escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. For this reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, and mutual affection with love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I I place place my my trust. trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, Say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. I will deliver him and glorify him. With the length of days, I will gratify him. I will show him my salvation. In you, my God, I place my trust. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to ten farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. 
but they seized him, beat him, sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to sin, a beloved son. He sent to them last of all, thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and put those tenants to death and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but, he feared the, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. So today's gospel parable is addressed to the leadership of the Jewish people. And that Jesus is trying to point out that they follow in the footsteps of the leadership before them in rejecting the prophets who came to challenge them to be faithful to God's word. Therein, I think, lies the challenge for us to be open to the prophetic challenge of God's word. And that, uh, you know, is harder than what it sounds because if we really listen to Jesus, if we really listen to the gospel, then we should not be challenged when it comes to feeding the poor, praying for our persecutors, turning the other cheek, welcoming the stranger that comes to our borders, giving those who uh, have a burden a lift. Those are things that Jesus challenges us to do. And sometimes we find reasons not to do it. Oh, but he could not have meant it in this case. Well, that's when we begin to reject God's word. So I think the very simple challenge I want to place before all of us today is never to back away from the challenge, to take it seriously what we hear Jesus tell us to and challenge us to in the gospel values. So today as we come and as we share in the very body and blood of him who preached the word of God, who was the word of God enfleshed, let us pray that we be not only hear, not only listen, but take into the deepest part of our hearts and our souls what Jesus says to us. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of For our Holy Father, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds the church as the vicar of Christ on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are in positions of governance, may the Lord enliven their hearts and minds to strive for the good of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are experiencing distress or illness, may the Lord grant them relief and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in worship, may the blessings and graces we receive today help us grow in virtue and remain steadfast in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, May they soon come to know the fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Vita Campanella, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? Did our spouses look down before me, being the glory of the Father with the great cloud of witnesses, as we did before the Mass? Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and seeking the intercession of Our Lady of Peace. Hail Mary, Mary, full full of of grace, grace. the The Lord Lord is is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. So God of all creation, through your goodness, we had this bread and wine to offer for the divine work of human hands and become our spiritual food and drink. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and to accept the sacrifice we offer you humbly on our hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so may you bring us who, who minister at your altar in dedication to you alone. We pray through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs poured out like Christ to the glory of your name, and their death shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear witness to you through Christ Jesus. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, May our voices be one in grateful praise as we say. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, 
bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. And give those who trespass against us. Give us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God's peace, Buster. Peace, Father. Thank you. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body 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 of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, we have received this divine sacrament as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trial steadfast in faith and charity. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.